welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2017. I am very pleased to be joined here in Geneva by Mr. Tarek Kamal, Senior Vice President and Advisor to the President at ICANN. Hello there. Hi. Thank you very much for joining us. So what are ICANN's objectives in uh, taking part in a WISIS forum this year? Uh, I think we are very glad as I can really to be partnering with the ITU in uh, this event. I have to congratulate the Secretary General, Mr. Holland Zhao, and his team for uh, the success of uh, the WISIS Forum and the attendance that we have been witnessing here uh, so far. Really multi-stakeholder, international uh, and global contribution from government, civil society, as well as business and um, academia. Uh, I think for ICANN, uh, very specifically, it is an opportunity for engagement uh, with different stakeholders uh, as such on a global level. It's uh, very useful for us to listen to those uh, stakeholders and really to explain about the mission of ICANN and the technical role that ICANN really play, plays and have the right exchanges uh, within our uh, engagement opportunities. Very specifically, this time we are coming with a message uh, related to partnership in capacity building with a focus on developing countries and underserved uh, regions. And uh, we had a couple of panels uh, that have been uh, quite uh, successful and vibrant uh, via the participation of the stakeholders about this topic. So what is the contribution that ICANN can make to the SDGs, the Sustainable uh, Development Goals? I think that the SDG became now really the global umbrella for uh, uh, development. Uh, they have been triggered by the uh, UN and announced in late 2015. Uh, but meanwhile, really, they are overarching the activities of development in different sectors. For ICT very specifically and for ICANN's role, I think within our limited technical mission that ICANN has, uh, we are uh, uh, contributing very actively with the promotion of the internationalized domain name or IDN. Domain names in Arabic, domain names in Cyrillic, domain names in Chinese. And this is important to foster local content because as we know, the internet is global but from a user's perspective as well, it is very local because the user at the end wants to know about services, online services within his or her own languages that would benefit him. Municipality services or e-government services or education services or whatever. This can primarily happen in local content. And if we look for the next billion users of the internet, they are primarily coming from uh, the developing countries. Uh, as such. So this positions the local content on a higher priority and I think the internationalized domain name that I can really promote can uh, help and contribute in uh, the development of that and hence in the success of the uh, sustainable development goals. So what role can I can play um, in uh, internet governance post the INA transactions? I think uh, this is a very interesting topic uh, that you are uh, addressing. ICANN uh, has, uh, as a community, uh, has successfully completed uh, the transition uh, of the stewardship of uh, the um, IANA services uh, back in uh, uh, the 1st of October 2016. This process was unique by itself because it was a multi-stakeholder global process. Uh, as such that has been running for around uh, two years and where the oversight of the IANA transition uh, went over from the uh, stewardship of the U.S. government to the stewardship of the global community. But uh, um, uh, with responsibilities, there is also accountability. And hence, we, uh, um, ICANN community is working now together with the board and ICANN organization on the development of the so-called empowerment, empowered community that would really keep ICANN more transparent, more accountable. And uh, our management and our CEO and the board are very keen to reach the maximum level of transparency and accountability, specifically after the IANA transition and after we have a global stewardship from the community, which is probably to a, a great extent a unique uh, um, governance model. Mr. Tarek Kamal, Senior Vice President and Advisor to the President at ICANN, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.